Hello everyone, Halloween is right around the corner and I want to give you guys a lot of options. So here's a tutorial for this really cool and creepy Kesha Cat makeup. So before I start, let me show you guys the Tim Burton Kesha Cat look I'm going for. So uh, don't mind the crack on my phone. Um, first, I'm going to start by applying a light foundation all over my face. So I'm going to start doing the teeth and for that I'm going to use this white paint and this is this paint palette that I got from Amazon for $30 which is really handy for Halloween and I'm going to start making the teeth so just little candy corn shapes on my upper lip and then moving upwards towards my cheeks. It's a bit ironic that I'm actually doing this after my dentist visit. So now I'm going to do the lower teeth and I'm just drawing little triangles on my lower lip and uh, doing the same thing, just drawing them upwards towards my cheeks. Then I'm going to take my black paint and I'm going to apply this black to outline and also fill in that area between the upper and lower teeth. To think about it, I'm actually glad I don't have this many teeth because that would be really difficult to maintain. So next, I'm just applying black between the teeth very lightly. Now to make the teeth more visible, I'm going to use that same black paint, use a small detailing brush and just start going over the top of the teeth. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. Also doing this look can take quite a bit of time and patience, but it's definitely a head turner. To create that mean grin, I'm going to draw a thicker line on the outer corners and then draw curved lines on each corner of the mouth. So that's about it for the crazy mouth, it's really simple. Next I'm going to take this turquoise eyeshadow and brush it on my brows. Once my brows are all turquoise, I'm going to take that same eyeshadow and start creating little stripes on my forehead, very similar to Cheshire Cat. Also, I'm going to make a bigger stripe that goes from the temple down through the corner of my eye. And I'm going to make some more stripes below that and couple on my chin and also don't forget the neck area. Since Cheshire Cat also has a lot of gray in his body, I'm going to take this gray metallic eyeshadow and just start applying it on my eyelids with my fluffy brush. Feel free to brush on a darker gray eyeshadow and you can also use that color to contour the nose to make it look more cat-like. So back to the eyes, I'm taking a black eyeliner and lining my upper lash line with a long flick on the corner and also lining my lower lash line. Now to add life to the look because lashes give me life, I'm going to take a pair of the strip lashes, glue them to my upper lash line. Now to make the eyes look even cooler, I'm going to glue on these really fun lower lashes. Get ready to get freaked out because I just put on these crazy cat contacts. The only thing I'm missing now is the wig. So I'm going to put on my black wig cap and here is this amazing wig that reminds me so much of the Cheshire Cat. So it's gray, it's blue and it has some turquoise. It's amazing. So I'm just going to style the wig and my look is complete. <laughs> 